Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Ray J was a recent guest on the Wendy Williams show where the outspoken host attempted to ask about Suge Knight and the status of Death Row Records. But before she could even finish her sentence, Ray J jumped in and said, So look, Suge told me to tell you this was a message yesterday, he said. He said that he found out I'm going on Wendy and he said to tell Wendy don't ask no questions about me or death row because she never treated me right or said anything nice about me. Now, <laughs> after Ray J said that, Wendy snapped and immediately threw Knight's manslaughter conviction in his face and she shouted, get out of here, Suge, get out out of here with that I've always treated you right and all I do is report what's going on it's not my fault you ran over man back up and ran him over again that is not my fault I am fair I am fair should <laughs> yeah and not only ran over one man he ran over two one guy okay now, Ray J put his head down and the look on his face told everything. He clearly didn't care for Williams' delivery. Now, last month, Knight confirmed Ray J was in charge of all business dealings regarding death row. Yes, Ray J. But denied he had signed over his life rights to him. Now, Ray J is not just a friend of mine. That's little brother. That's family, he told the blast. And I respect Ray J and his business dealing. That's why I chose him as one of the guys to deal with the music side of the future for Death Row Records. Anything to do with Death Row, and it's great to have him because he will be putting out this incredible album, and I heard it before. Now, Knight is currently behind bars for the January 2015 hit and run killing of Terry Carter on the set of uh, when they were taping straight out of Compton. Now, in September 2018, Knight struck a 28-year 28, a 28 plea deal but got credit for time served with prison overcrowding. It's possible he could just do over 10 years. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, and that was his friends. I mean, these two individuals that he ran over was his friend. You know, the other one was the guy who played in Training Day. I forgot his name. But, uh, he was actually a real gang member turned uh, actor. Uh, but, um, hmm, yeah, Shook has went down, uh, <laughs> Shug is yesterday's news. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for me. That's all the tea I have. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, in party, be blessed, y'all.